So I'm running about 84%. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm running about eight, between 70, 78 and 84% O2 right now. So when you're going outside your home and you're having that shortness of breath, there comes a point where your body doesn't have enough oxygen and I'm finding out that the cramping that I'm having is actually not from having low blood sugar. The cramping's not from um, uh, low potassium or problems with the electrolytes. Most likely my cramping is because my tissues are not getting the oxygen that they're supposed to be getting. You can't function, your, your tissues can't function without that oxygen. So, I am not having any cough. I never have had a cough since I've been on the boat. The um, symptom that is prevalent is the shortness of breath and the low O2 stats that kind of seem to come and go. But, um, so that is actually what kills you. You can't live without oxygen. So I don't know for any of you guys that are watching this that have just the pressure in your, in your chest and you're having that difficulty breathing when you're getting up and moving around. I don't know if that's, if that's the case or not, but increased blood pressure, increased CRP, increased lov levels of ALT and liver stuff showing inflammation there are um, basically, I guess, the pneumonia that everybody is saying that they are looking at. The cough actually might be coming from an exudate that's being deposited into the lungs, not from an actual infection. So I may be pretty far behind everybody else in this process. Um, I'm actually more scared right now than I have, have been of the entire virus the whole time. So the literature that I saw today doesn't look good. And when I tried to make an appointment with the cardiologist, they didn't want me to come in until the 28th because they think that I might be either be contagious, which I got home on the 20th of March. Um, that's what they're telling me that they, that they want to make sure that I can't infect them. But what I'm thinking is that, that they're looking at a timeline of when all of this should basically hit the fan. So whatever you've been told about this little respiratory cough or whatever, um, my blood work is completely, completely back to normal. It is no longer showing a virus in my body. And I'm hoping that the levels are going to be better when, I, when they retest me in two weeks for my liver and my C-reactive protein. But right now, um, I feel like I don't have a doctor. I feel like they're just waiting for it to like hit the fan. And I feel like I'm having, you know how everybody says, take care of yourself? Well, that's kind of how I feel like the world has said, you know what? Um, we're not going to take care of you. You take care of yourself. You go to your home and we really don't want to see you. Um, just take care of yourself. So, um, yeah, that would be an epic fail on the world's part. And there really isn't much to save if that's the way that the world's going to react to it. So, um, I didn't think twice about helping anybody on that airplane. Didn't think twice. Never once thought, oh my gosh, they might kill me by trying to help. Not once. Never thought about that. Um, I did the best I could to protect myself. I had a mask on. I put gloves on and I in sanitized in between each one. But... I would do it again in a heartbeat and uh, wouldn't think twice. 
and uh, that's the kind of world that I would be wanting to save. So, anyway, my O2 stats right now are 83%. Don't know if you guys can see that, but so I don't know if I can have to like save it. Um, but yeah, so O2 stats 83 got down as low as 78 and yeah my doctor's advice was to go out and exercise um wanted to say what you want me to die huh is that what you want you just want a whole bunch of us to die so that we purge the earth of enough citizens so that they'll have the money on social security to pay for all of these checks that they're having to pay everybody yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little attacked by the world. Um, and I'm going to sit down and try and get my O2 sats back up after walking. So they're starting to recover. We're back up at 96. And we got down to a low of 78. I think it was 77 something like that just walking around the circle and we've got a pulse rate of about 119 so I hope that they learn how to fix this but it sounds like a blood transfusion is going to be the only way to fix the iron molecules or the hem hemoglobin molecules that are being attacked by the by the virus so we're back up to 96 and um, pulse rate is 111 and all I did was walk around the circle and I'm a marathoner guys so I'm used to going out and running you know six seven miles a day um, that was my normal before I went on the cruise um, I'm not a person that sits at home I'm not a person that gets out of breath so, um, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm scared that, um, again, that all these people that think that they're fine now, that they've recovered, are actually just in the in-between stages and um, that there's a battle still left to be won. You guys take care of yourselves. Please stay in your homes. Do not expose yourself. Um, you know, they're saying that they don't know very much about this thing. I have an idea somebody does. Um, but anyway, it might not be your doctor that knows. So I love you all. Peace out.